Hello everybody, um, good morning as usual. Today is Monday, the, the 10th of August, and I start work on the 12th, so it's a very, very, very nerve-wracking week for me, and I just want to already, like, throw it out there that since I'll be working, I'm not sure how much I can vlog throughout my week as usual. Um, I know right now my schedule is kind of like one video per week, but we'll see how it goes. I still have to like find the flow and let's see like how stressful my new job is and everything. There is a lot in the air that are really, I guess, foggy that I'm not sure of. So I do apologize for that, but I hope you guys understand. This morning, I woke up and I got some Starbucks because I was just really kind of like tired to make breakfast and also I'm kind of in like a recipe block that I don't know what to make ever because I'm cooking for um, Steven and Grayson and I. Um, so with babysitting a child, um, you need to feed the kid first and then by the time you feed the kid you're just like my food is already cold so that's kind of like what I went through today um, so I decided to order Starbucks I got the vanilla cream cold brew with vanilla cold cream foam and they upgraded me to a venti which is nice I also have some very very exciting news for you guys um, so many of you guys know that I always complained about my MacBook Air and don't get me wrong I'm really really grateful to be one of the people that can afford like Apple products and this MacBook Air was given to me in 2014 from my grandparents for graduating high school and this is the condition of it like as of right now, it still works fine. It has some downsides to it, which I'll get into. Um, but yeah, I invested in a new MacBook Pro and I'm super excited. A MacBook Pro is coming tomorrow and it's a 13, I got a 13 inch because I wanted more storage than the display. So I got 13 inch, one terabyte of storage because this only has 216 gigabytes and it was really like a pain always exporting my videos inside this computer and just for it to show like my storage is full and I always have to like constantly like delete it and everything so yes it's been holding me back um, I wanted to tell you like what is wrong with my laptop so first I've spilled like two things on it before. Actually, it's funny. I think I spilled both of them were coffee and they're from Phil's. So I spilled coffee on it before. It still works fine um, from that. But the problem is for this, this breathes really loud and it sometimes shuts down and crashes automatically. And also for some reason, every time I put up a wallpaper I like, it reverts back to one of the um old apple like display ones and when it crashes it also restarts my time and date and everything so everything is just bad i think crashing is the most annoying thing for this laptop and lately what's been happening is that my mouse would disappear my mouse pad um, for some reason, like, I don't know, it's, it's just been through a lot. And my laptop is getting delivered tomorrow, so I'm excited to do an unboxing with you guys, even though you guys have seen MacBook Pros probably, like, a lot already. Hi everyone, it is later in the day, and I wanted to hop on here because my Amazon package finally came. And these are all accessories for my coming MacBook Pro that's coming tomorrow. Alright, so the first thing I got is really, really important to me, but this is, it's a webcam cover. I have, I have it on my current laptop as well, but they look like this. I just got like a set of three these are pretty tiny i hope they fit on there the second one i got is a flash drive and we actually don't have we don't we actually don't have any flash drives in the house which is annoying what's nice 
about this is that it's dual ended so you can plug it into like your regular your regular computer or you can plug it into like your MacBook because I know MacBook doesn't have it but it's weird I wonder that's interesting you can lift it up lift this piece up and you can plug it into your phone too next I got the, every the thing that everyone always needs which is this functional thing to plug into your MacBook Pro which I have no idea why Apple didn't Apple just wants you to spend money but I don't know I wanted to go like the cheaper route so I got it in this brand called Mokin and it got really good reviews so it comes with two USB plugs some SD card the mini SD card and an HDMI I have to get another one so I can plug it into the ethernet so when I work at home because my house Wi-Fi is really really bad all right and the last thing is a foldable aluminum laptop stand the reason why I purchased this is because it's more ergonomic for you to work at a 40 degree angle um, it's known as the harm and distance and I learned that from my previous job as a vision therapist so I wanted to pick this up since I will be working you know on my computer for quite a while and I don't want any like neck strain or eye strain I just got it in this dark gray color and you can just basically fold back like this so it holds it well I might actually use this now because I can use it for my laptop I have very sad news today, everybody. My MacBook Pro did not come because, I don't know, UPS? UPS, you guys suck. Um, I was waiting for a doorbell because I know they wrote um, that you needed a signature. I was really attentive all day, always having my UPS tab on and tracking my package. And also like being really aware of anyone ringing the doorbell. Long story short, we didn't hear a doorbell and Steve and I ran outside and lo and behold there is a note saying you missed your package. We ran up a block and down a block to see if the, U the UPS truck was still nearby and it wasn't. So I rerouted its location and told it to deliver to a nearby UPS store so I can just pick it up instead because I don't want to keep happening again where it shows up and it does not ring the doorbell or I didn't hear it or something and then it'll just delay my MacBook Pro for my work so I'm really really bummed about that this is definitely the highlight of my day finally eating some chicken pot pie it was like sold out on Amazon fresh and everyone is just I guess craving it but it's the best delicious food in a little tiny cardboard box. It feels so weird having a new computer. Oh, so pretty too. Can't wait to type on it. Hello, I wanted to report to you guys the verdict so far with the new MacBook Pro. Everything is going very swell. Um, it is going to take me a while to get used to, especially I notice I don't use this special um, like touch screen bar. And I actually like when I first opened it, I wonder what this like just black square was and that was actually like a touch in sign in and I thought that was really fancy. So I accessed or I logged in my fingerprint and Steven's fingerprint. I thought that was pretty cool. I really, really love how there's four ports total, two on each side, and you can alternate where you wanna charge your laptop. If like an outlet is on your left or right side, it is really flexible for you. I think so far, so good. I will mention though, the mouse is a little bit weird to touch. It's not as clacky as the um, MacBook Air one. It's just you really need like a small tap sometimes. I don't even know if I like clicked or not. So I don't know. That's just a small thing. But I love the retinal display. It's amazing. I even looked on Photo Booth. 
just to test out the camera quality and it also got a lot better. I guess I'll report to you guys throughout the week of how this situation will go, but so far, so good. Good afternoon everybody. Our setup is completely transformed today because I was just doing a training online and about like virtual um, teaching and they recommend us to face the back and my desk was or originally like aligned here and I was sit here and you can see like Steven in the background and it's so for the kids to not get distracted because if they see, see Steven they're gonna wonder who it is and stuff and I don't want to say oh I'm living with my boyfriend and then you know they start like gossiping and stuff um, it's just kind of just want to look somewhat professional but this is kind of like a weird setup but it's temporary since I'm working from home the cords are kind of messy over there we're gonna figure out how to make that neater and it's also like pretty much near our heads I think just for the night I'm going to perhaps put everything away so that we have a clean desk and unplug some unnecessary things so that we don't get electrocuted or anything. I finally picked up my AirPods from UPS and they're just the uh, old ones. I think the first generation ones. Yeah, so I got these for free because I did the buy a Mac, get an AirPod for free thing. So it's kind of like no surprise. Um, I gave my sister my old one and the old one we found at the airport or Steven's mom found at the airport she found uh, two, two pairs I froze some ice spheres not for alcohol but just for like looks purposes and I'm gonna see I'm gonna see how it turned out silicone backing so you can easily like push it out <laughs> my chonky boy Hi guys, um, wanted to come on here and do a Bark Box unboxing. So let's get started. Please disregard the fan in the background today. San Francisco's so hot. It's like 90 degrees today. Oh, he knows what it is. <laughs> wow! So the theme is Fairgrounds Hounds. Let's see what the first thing is. Oh, so we first got some Bark Box ice cream. Add two ounces of water to the mix and stir and set in the freezer for six hours. So we have the flavor banana, blueberries, and goat's milk. That looks like this. Ooh, we have this toy. It is a turkey. I'm gonna rip this off. It's a turkey toy! And then the next one, oh, this one's cute. It's like a big jug of beer. Aww. Oh, the thing I noticed about these tags is that it's like tickets. So it's really, really cool. And it tells you what they are and what they're made out of. I'm gonna cut this because I don't want him eating this. Oh, here's your beer. You want it? You want it? You want it? <laughs> so big, grim. Next we got trees. So this is the first prize treat, chew ribbon chicken. Taste test, taste test. These are his favorite. Ooh, it's like rubbery, which is kind of weird. See how rubbery that is? Do you like it? And it smells kind of like peanut, like peanut butter too. This next one is the Tootin' Turkey Gobblers. I feel like we've had turkey gobblers before for the Thanksgiving themed one and these are just the media the standard ones the square ones that they give us and the last one is a chew and this is the thinkers real 
real sticks. We had this flavor before. We had the exact same thing before. Do you want it? Okay, so by the way, BarkBox is not sponsoring this video. I personally just really love BarkBox myself. It's really easy and efficient and you don't always have to go out there and buy your dogs like toys all the time and treats. Um, it's a monthly delivery and I have a yearly plan so I believe every box is 20 or $22. And you can of course add on and change your plan whenever you want. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. Our BarkBox unboxing. Made his ice cream his first time eating it. Oh, he loves it. He's been panting a lot. Huh, baby? I bought so I bought Steven headphones for gaming. They're the HyperX ones. Um, for a hundred dollars, I'll link them down below. And let's see how he likes them. Wow. Do you like them? You haven't even opened it all the way. It's my gift to him for getting for me getting a new job, so Actually, I didn't even read the front of me. I don't even know which one you got me actually. HyperX Cloud 2. Gaming headset. And here. Ooh. Wow. I like the way it opens. I know, it's so fancy. Even the keyboard I got before, it was very like, it was packaged pretty fancy. It was also HyperX. If I didn't let Yao borrow it, I would have the whole set. I know. Okay. Here it is. Ooh, it comes with pads. Different pads, wow. It's for two. Oh, yeah. If uh, you want a more plush or if you yeah. want the... They're both pretty good to me. Wow, honest. they're really soft. As long as like, you know, it doesn't press the, my glasses against my face. Yeah, they said, um, review said, like, they don't get headaches from it, so. Like people who wear glasses? Yeah. I'll keep these in case, in case, like, maybe this one gets worn out a little bit. Here's the mic. <laughs> the mic connects to, I'm just assuming here, right here. Nice. Whoa. Yeah, so I got him this because he's been complaining since the mic on his desktop right. or webcam is really far away. And he needs it for work to talk to people, so he ends up using his phone instead yeah. as with the audio. So mm -hmm. this is a nice change. Mm -hmm. So it comes pre-packaged. I'm assuming with these, with this thing right here. It comes with a baggie too. Oh, actually, yeah, right here. Let's see. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. It, it connects via USB, so you know it covers that part. Control your audio and your mic volume here. I don't know what that 7.1 button does though. Um, that's how you know I never had a headset. <laughs> okay, cool. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello everyone. Um, I wanted to come on here and end the vlog for you guys. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there and keeping cool because I know like this past few days there was like a huge heat wave. Um, it was so hot in San Francisco, you had no idea, like it was so humid, um, but yeah, just stay safe out there, continue wearing your masks and stuff, and I hope to see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!